Hello YouTube, this is IXD and today I'm going to be teaching you a very, very important tip on graphing uh, equation or function on your graphing calculator. Well, what makes this particular tip very important is the way you enter the equation in. Well, it only applies mostly to those that have a shape, I mean, have a form of a fraction. Yes. That has a variable on the bottom. So, for example, I'm going to be using y equals to 3x minus 1 over x minus 2. And as you can see, there's x minus 2 on the bottom. That's going to affect the graph. Surely it's a simple equation, but once you try to graph it the old way that I taught you using the linear method, it will not work. So I'll show you this. Well, actually, I'm going to change it. I'll take out the minus 1. I'll leave it at 3x over x minus 2. So, 3x over, which is math, number of button to nd, and then x minus 2. x minus 2. So, as you can see, we have entered it in the old way. We graph it, and then it shows a straight line across. Well, that graph is obviously wrong. And to well, the reason for this is the way I entered the equation, which is 3x slash x minus 2. Surely it seems right, but what the calculator sees this as, and, well, this is how the calculator sees the equation. 3x divided by x minus 2. So, what we want, but we know the, that is not what we want. We want this, not that. So, how do I do that? Well, you do this. Before you enter the denominator, you put parentheses and then x minus 2. Parenthesis, which is right here on top of 8 and 9. Now you put the denominator in parentheses which makes it represent an expression that you graph and voila the correct graph appears thank you for watching comment rate subscribe and more tutorials coming soon